Hello, this is Rick from Arriva Renewables reporting from Chester Road. This is the HMO deep retrofit which we carried out. This job has taken the best part of a year to complete. Quite a big undertaking, fully airtight house. Got an air pressure test of um, two meters cubed per hour per meter square, which is excellent. Got polyurethane insulation all over the building, which is hermetically sealed, so it's super airtight, really thermally efficient. Here's the heat pump, which is now commissioned, Hitachi 11 kilowatt. This building actually needs no heating. It's not even come on yet for heating demand. The main demand is hot water for this heat pump. So we've got the heating turned off. Uh, there's quite a lot of hot water production because of six occupants. There's the controller on the wall there. I won't step in because my shoes are a bit muddy. Okay, so you can see the heat pump turned on. It's just in hot water mode. Okay, inside, here is our hot water tank, 500 litre cylinder, Telford Tempest, all safety features installed. We've got our primary valves there, our motorised valves. One decides to uh, put the, the primary hot water through the cylinder. When that is up to temperature, we can put the heating, or in this instance, cooling through the, the heating or cooling circuit. Here's our MVHR, which is an adroit DV145. Step back so you can fully appreciate it. There we go. Also, high up there, we have a heating cooling coil. And that device at the front is a, is a UV disinfectant filter. It kicks in at night time to uh, eradicate and help suppress virus propagation. So we put this in on the back of COVID. This, we've done everything that we can to mitigate virus propagation. Okay. And you can see up there, an extract valve. Here we've got a supply valve. Here, these wires, these are waiting for the solar battery and inverter, which are just gonna go on that blank bit of wall there. Okay, you can see all our lagged ductwork. Behind this wall here are are the distribution manifolds which feed the, the property. Here's our mirror box for the heat pump. All the wiring sensor is in there. Easy to do, internal. This is a nice warm plant room. Nice floor covering. And it's also been turned into a little bit of a drying washing room. And people do their ironing in here. Yeah, I put a lot of effort into this plant room. Okay. Pipe work at the back. We've got expansion vessel. And there's another expansion vessel just round there as well. Again, coil return and flow in. A little bit more pipe lagging to do. When everybody's fully painted, we'll get, get that in. Yeah, pressure set to 1.1, 1.2 bar. We've also got a recirculating hot water pump through there which comes on at optimum times when there's going to be showering and bathing happening inside and that's on a, an internet switch plugged in there so that can be controlled remotely. Yeah. DC cables again and the power which is going to be a solar diverter on this wall here. Okay. Three hundred mil space. Lagged primary pipe. Circuit's got the correct amount of glycol on it on the primary side. And we tapped the condensate drainage into the rainwater there. This is just clear distilled water that comes out of here, not like boilers, which are contaminated. So that could just run where the downspout went. We actually built this plinth 
and raise the heat pump up so there could be bin access otherwise the bins would have been in front of the heat pump and blocking airflow yeah quite an interesting project this I've, I've enjoyed this job and uh, seen the positive results yeah so no heating yet two degrees the other night still no call for heat there's quite a lot of heat produced by the occupancy inside just the occupants themselves but we did a detailed heat loss calcs on this project and the heating demand with all the insulation the air tightness is only coming in the peak heat load about 1.5 kilowatts but with the occupancy there isn't any at all any heating demand so again Arriva Renewables focus primarily on the energy conservation and then heat pumps MVHR all works beautifully and they coalesce together nicely okay thank you bye